I'm Shannon. And I'm Sinead. So, yeah. <laughs> and here's our children. You guys can see our children. This is Chase. This is Papa. Yes. And Chloe. These are our babies. They're 10 months old. They fight. You know. <laughs> Before the Claremont twins would rise to fame after their short-lived appearance on season 14 of Oxygen's Bad Girls Club. Go, go. My name is Shannon. I'm Sinead. And, and we're, we're the, the Claremont, Claremont twins. twins. If you look up bad bitch in the dictionary, you'll find the Claremont twins. Yeah. You'll find me and Two Shannon. Two bad bitches. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Before the Claremont twins would appear in music videos for Future and Nicki Minaj. Before the Claremont Twins would have over 11,000 subscribers on YouTube, 52.8 thousand followers on Twitter, and over 1.6 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording, we have officially reached the point where social media has become the most prevalent platform in the world. Regular everyday people now have it fully within their own control to turn themselves into models, vloggers, musicians, and even fashion designers based upon their Instagram follower account and the type of content they create. Shannon and Sinead Claremont are no different. These two Haitian Jamaican twins first dropped into our lives thanks to Bad Girls Club. We'll do whatever we want. If you want to have fun, we'll just do whatever. We don't care what other people think. We're just, and we stand up for exactly for how we feel and what we think is right. That's a bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> And ever since then, they've been popping up everywhere else. Music videos, Times Square billboards, Terry Richardson photo shoots, and even Yeezy campaigns. Make no mistake, the Claremont twins are a glamorous force, but they've also managed to harness their notoriety as a launch pad to build a career on their own terms. What's going on guys and girls? It's your girl Azalea Hart, back at it again with a brand new video. This one, taking a look at the come up of the Claremont twins, here for you on Before They Were Famous. These two have been a social media staple for close to five years now, so it's about time that I finally got around to checking out their life story. Let me know what you guys think about their tale in the comments down below, and that's tale spelled T-A-L-E boys, so let's keep the comments clean. I know that might be tough, but whew. These two are really hot stuff. There's no doubt about that. What can I say? Sometimes I just love my job. All right, I got your appetite ready, so follow us on Instagram at Before They Were Famous to vote on what's next. Now, let's get into this story. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom. Shannon and Sinead Claremont are identical twins who were born on March 21st, 1994 in Montclair, New Jersey. The youngest of five siblings, the sisters have an older sister and two older brothers. After being born in Jersey, the Claremont family moved to Dallas, Georgia, when the twins were only nine and that's where they spent their formative years. Their dad is from Haiti and owns his own moving company, while their Jamaican-born mother ran a daycare. From the get-go, their parents taught them about the value of hard work and getting good grades. The girls told Paper Magazine Magazine, they always taught us to prioritize our responsibilities and our dad always told us to never let anyone tell you no. The girls took that advice to heart and decided early on that they wanted to dedicate themselves to the glamorous life. Growing up in Georgia, the girls shared a bedroom up until middle school and of course, being siblings, there was always a bit of a competitive streak between the two, especially when it came to guys. So guess what happened today? A boy named Sammy who I, was pre I pretty much liked. Okay, lately. another boy already? They often found themselves talking with white guys who would tell them how hot they were, but would then go on to explain that they can never take them home to their white parents. Despite being confronted with such blatant close-mindedness, the twins would keep a smile on their face and kill their enemies with kindness. A big influence early on in their life when they were still in Jersey was their aunt who would bring the young girls to fashion shows in New York where they got their first taste of the fashion industry. Their aunt would even design her own clothes and the twins were fascinated by that. By the time they were 14 years old, they had begun modeling themselves. The twins told Paper Magazine, I remember sitting our parents down and telling them we were about to do everything we could. Everyone said we should be in catalogs and movies, but our parents were really scared about that. 
The girls had already done a few small shows with their aunts and even smaller events with family and friends, but their parents wanted them to focus on school. The twins worked hard to get their good grades and appease their parents enough to get their approval to begin acting and modeling. At first, they'd pay their friends to take them into Atlanta where they could apply for everything, even college fashion shows. They applied to every single casting they could find and ended up in hair magazines, teen catalogs, and booking modeling gigs for the likes of the Brona Brothers. All this hustle is how they eventually ended up in Future's Same Damn Time video and that was followed up with stand-in work for films. They won themselves a contract to go to an acting and modeling school for six months which helped get them into a database for agency casting. That's how they found themselves appearing in the likes of Tyler Perry's House of Pain and a Netflix film called Plus One. By the time they were ready for college, both sisters were offered full-ride scholarships to schools in Georgia, but they couldn't stick around there a moment longer. The only place they wanted to be was in New York City. So Sinead applied to study strategic design at Parsons School of Design, and Shannon applied to fashion merchandising at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Both girls would go on to graduate in 2016, but not before experiencing their breakthrough moment by filming a season of The Bad Girls Club in 2015. I can look better than you and wear my T-Rex dream! wear your T-Rex! <laughs> As you can no doubt tell from that clip, despite their appearance doing wonders for their career, the filming itself did not go smoothly at all. In fact, the twins were kicked off the show halfway through filming for threatening castmates after a whole bunch of their shit got destroyed. Who the is that? Oh my god, that's our stuff! Y'all, you gotta be kidding me. I'd probably be ready to throw down if someone did that to my stuff too, just saying. Speaking with Paper Magazine, the girls had this to say about their appearance on the show. When we did Bad Girls Club, that's when our social media became really big. We had less than 10,000 followers before BGC. It brought us major visibility and so many opportunities, but there's a flip side. You can get trapped in a bubble of fantasy very quickly, especially if you can't spin it into reality. With that in mind, the girls decided to head back to reality. They turned entrepreneur and debut debuted Mont Boudoir, a Western-themed luxury women's wear brand. Their profile increased even further after being featured in Kanye's Yeezy Season 6 collection in January of 2018, in which they appeared alongside Paris Hilton and clones of Kim Kardashian. But by early 2019, the girls' lives took a bit of a twist when Sinead turned herself into police after a man she described as her sugar daddy died of a cocaine cut with fentanyl overdose. The problem is that Sinead had taken the man's debit card and went on a 20 thousand dollar shopping spree after he had already passed away. Sinead swears up and down that she was unaware that the man's life was in danger and has since apologized many times for what happened. She's also spent close to a year in prison, having only been released rather recently. Sinead, come this way! Oh my god! Look at her back. Oh my god. Sinead! Oh but now that the twins are reunited, they're ready to get back to where they left off. And as for the rest of this story, well, I think we'll end this video right here. After all, this is before they were famous. What did you guys think of the Claremont twins story? Can you guys tell these two apart? Because I sure as heck cannot. Apparently, Sinead has a tattoo that runs along her right pelvis, while Shannon has a distinct birthmark, but no one seems to know where exactly. Might need to get somebody on that case to figure that one out, stat. Do I have any volunteers? Oh, all of you? Yeah, I figured. All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Before They Were Famous, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!